it just good for the stuff psyche in general? Yes. I mean, you know, you're going, it's, it's a miserable month. Uh, if you lose that last game before the break, I've been there before uh, and it's a long month. <clears throat> and it, you know, players can go and get some rest and feel good about it. Uh, it sends Tina and Ariel off in a good way. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's, it gives us some things that we can put on film to come back and work on, um, you know, as we go through this uh, three week period that we'll be practicing. And so, you know, there's a lot of good that came out of this game. And, you know, and we got some good performances. I mean, first of all, you know, you get the 34 from Tina, but, you know, she's turning in huge rebounding games right now. You have four players in double figures. You had our bench give us a lift tonight. I mean, I thought Megan and, and Sydney and, and Z, you know, Z didn't score, but she was in on, you know, a lot of the defensive part when that, you know, that second group held its own uh, in the first half. And I thought, you know, Megan's rebounding and, um, you know, Sid made some big plays driving to the basket early. Um, she got racked up pretty good. So I'm sure she's looking for the break uh, on that on that play where she got hurt a little bit. Um, but, you know, and then, you know, Tosh coming back and having 11 assists uh, is huge for us. And that's why I was going to say you touched on Tina real quick, but 34 and 7, what, I'm 34 and 17. I mean, what can you say about that? And I think, she should have been, I think she should have been shooting a free throw at the end of regulation to win the game because that should have been an and one. That's what she'll tell you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's just, you know, she's playing great. Um, and, you know, she got it in a variety of ways. I mean, she made three threes. She got inside. She had offensive rebound scoring. And, you know, for us against a team with that much size uh, to end up with 44 points in the paint, uh, that's, you know, that's pretty far above our average. So there's a lot, a lot of that. And she's the main reason that we were able to get inside. And just one last one for me and kind of odd, just because I'm not sure when's the next time we're going to chat with you, but what's the plan for Elena during the break? Um, she's taking the, this week off, just like everybody else has some, you know, some routines that we've given her part of her therapy that she knows what she has to do. And then the second week she'll come back um, and uh, we'll have a, a coach or two and the physical therapist uh, there working with her. Uh, and then when we start practicing again, the intent is to try to integrate her into, you know, a fair amount of the practices. Right now, we'll see how that intermediary week goes. But, you know, uh, a couple of days in a row or every other day for a while is kind of the plan. Uh, we're also on a limited plan for Maisha early in the break. And she'll be kind of an every other day. And she probably won't do a lot of live stuff till the near the end of the break, just to make sure that uh, she's healthy. But Elena, Elena's, you know, been feeling better. We'll see how it translates once she, you know, starts, you know, getting physical contact. But that's still a few weeks off. That's what I was going to say. That third week, you're hoping for physical, physical contact? To do some, yes. Yep. All right. Thank you. Jen? Hey, Coach. Uh, so silly me. I was like, I don't know how Tina's going to get better. And then she hits a, you know, game tying bucket. So uh, she proved me wrong. But, um, you know, she's been great all year. But where, you know, are there places where you've seen her get better from game to game? Well, I think early in the year, um, you know, she's she for I'll say it this way for throughout most of her career, she's been a dominant rebounder. And Early in the season, uh, that was kind of up and down for her a little bit uh, and wasn't having a lot of double-figure rebound games. Uh, but over the course of the last two or three weeks, I mean, we're seeing, you know, 15 rebounds in a game, 12 in a game, tonight 17. Uh, that looks like the rebounding Tina uh, when she was young. Um, she was one of the best rebounders in the whole league back then. And I think she's, you know, getting herself back there. I think she's back up to third or second in the league or will be second maybe in the league in rebounding after a game like this. So, um, you know, she's, that's, that's a big part of her game. And, and tonight, man, she came up with some crucial ones. And, uh, you know, how do you evaluate what Shatori did tonight? I mean, big lift, um, you know, still not fully um, caught up on some of our stuff, but, you know, her athleticism, I mean, she made some good plays going to the basket. Uh, defensively, I thought she did a good job. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're a tough team to defend. They're one of the better offensive teams. And I thought she, she really helped us on the defensive end tonight. And last one for me real quick. You know, obviously, I know you guys are 
pretty different from when you played the sky the first time, but what differences did you see from Chicago compared to that first game? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, they're, they're still good. Um, I mean, I think, uh, you know, neither team played great in that game the first time. I mean, tonight I thought that uh, their post players, uh, particularly Candace and Steph Dolson, uh, were a bigger factor than they were against us um, the first time, you know, com uh, combined. Um, Quigley uh, got it going for a little bit. Um, but overall, I mean, I think we made her take tough shots. She got some wide open ones just – you know, off of a couple of our turnovers, but they're, they're, you know, a much better team just having played together more, you know, Candace is much more into how to play with this group. Thanks coach. Tyler. Hey coach. I want to check in and see, do you, is there any information you can provide on what happened to Ariel in the second quarter? Uh, no, we just checked her out of precautions for a concussion. I believe she was fine. Okay. She just got hit in the face and, you know, kind of, you know, stunned her a little bit, but uh, she was fine. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. And then uh, Natasha, she had, uh, what is it, 32 minutes tonight? I know yeah, that wasn't coming. the plan when we got, but we ended up in overtime and she wasn't coming out. Oh, yeah. Was there a conversation or you didn't even try that? With no, you? I mean, it, it, you know, it was one of those, uh, the trainer didn't say anything. It, the main thing with her tonight was to keep her loose. So when I took her out, now I have her sit forever and let her stiffen up. Uh, but I asked her in the fourth quarter how she felt, and she said, I feel great. I mean, I, my body feels good right now. Uh, I just don't want to sit too long and get stiff. She was riding the bike in between um, at the end of the bench. But, um, you know, we, we, yeah, she might have she just killed me if I took her out in the overtime. Yeah, I, de I don't want to be the person asking her to come out in that situation. Yeah. Um, for Tina and Megan, they both – did really well on the offensive boards tonight. Five for her, or five for Tina, four for Megan. Was that a point of emphasis, or is that just two players being in the right spot at the right time and doing the? I think that's there? two players who are just naturally good offensive rebounders. Uh, you know, one of the things we told our team today is that you have to get back against their fast break. But you know, because Tina was going to guard Candace tonight, and Candace likes to hang out and be the point guard a lot of times. You have opportunity. She's not going to run out early and leak out on you. You're going to have some opportunities to get to the offensive boards. With Megan, that's just a natural thing. She's always been a good offensive rebounder. It's her instinct. She runs in every time. And, you know, if you don't block her out, she's going to get a you know good opportunity to get them. And they were they were good possessions for us. And then last one for me, with Shatori, you, you kind of expect the chemistry to be there a little bit with Tosh, with Ariel, but tonight her and Tina had some really good plays, some good working off of each other. Yep. Uh, is that something they've been working on or? Haven't had time to work on it. They haven't <laughs> practiced together very much. So no, there's been no time working on it at all. All right, awesome. Thank you, Coach. You bet. And last question to Christy. Hey, Coach, congrats on a gritty win. Fantastic. Um, just wanted to know if you could kind of, in a nutshell, say what you discussed in the locker room to the team and what your parting words to the group was enjoy the break <laughs> basically that was it I mean you know I, I did say that this was a, a good test game of you know fighting through a bunch of stuff and that you know it's a whole lot better going into the break with a win like that but let's come out of the break building on this you know one of the advantages that we have that um, you know some teams you know don't is I think we will have played the least amount of games going in the break, or maybe there's one other team that's the same number. Um, and so, you know, if we have a healthier group coming out of the break, we can actually make up some games uh, if we play well um, in the standings. Um, some teams will have already played 20 or 21 games after tomorrow. So that, that can be a help for us. But I told them basically enjoy the break, uh, come back ready to go, uh, get their bodies refreshed, minds refreshed, and uh, – We'll, we'll have a great second half of the season. Well, thanks so much, Coach. You do the same. I'm going to. You won't <laughs> see me. I'm disappearing. Thanks, Coach. Kareem? Hey, hey, Tina. How are you? Hey, how you doing? Good. Congratulations. First mm -hmm. of all, you know, how much does this mean just for the psyche to break that losing streak and to go into the break, you know, on a high note and – you know, getting back on the right track just from 
a mentality kind of standpoint? Oh, it means everything, um, you know, to, to come off this, this break feeling, feeling good about ourselves, um, knowing that we could grind out wins. I mean, to me, Natasha Cloud is just a big difference maker. That's something that I try to always preach to her about her going downhill, how she attacks, how she draws in defense, how she's able to find people. But this was just a collective win. Um, even uh, Teresa Plaisance, you know, just her sacrificing her body that late. Everybody had a role in this. Everyone had a hand in, in this. Um, Shavante Zealous, you know, just being disruptive when she comes off the bench, you know. Um, so it's a great win that, that everyone was involved in this. And Megan, Megan as well, just getting on the boards, boxing out, being aggressive with uh, Stephanie Dolson. Uh, again, every, every single person on this team had a hand in this. Can you take me through that, um, the, end of both, the end of regulation, that offensive rebound put back? Yeah, uh, it's just I like to pride myself on, you know, I, I didn't want to lose the game. Um, I like to pride myself. I think all game I was very assertive, just finding my spots and just being where the ball. I mean, I just got to thank the basketball gods, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought it was an one after I saw the, the review, but, you know, um, I'm just glad that the ball went in and I was able to rebound and put it up. There are a lot of – they let y'all play today. It seemed a little physical exactly. out there. For sure, for sure. And just one last one for me, um, overtime, you know, you guys got stops. I think there was a stretch where you guys turned them over three out of four possessions, you know. Um, it, Mike was saying, you know, regardless of the rest of the game, but it's meaningful for you guys to know you can get stops in moments um, that you need it. And, and I was going to say, you know, what did you guys take from that specific? Um like you said, that we could get stops in moments when we need to, you know. Um, I think we had a great week of just practice and going through defense, defensive drills. Um, and, you know, for a team that every other day you don't know who's going to be in the lineup just due to injury, for us to just continue to trust one another um, and be out there, I think it's I think it's really great that, that we're able to get stops, you know, versus a team that has been collectively together the entire time and has more chemistry and everything. So um, looking forward to getting back with the team after the break. Well, cool. Thank you very much. Enjoy the time off. Thank you. Well, not yeah. time off. For lack thereof. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jan? Hey, Tina, congrats on the win. Uh, I actually wanted to build really right off of that. Um, are you, you know, are you heading to Vegas tomorrow? And are you going to have any opportunity at all to rest uh, during the break? Um, I'm heading to Vegas on the 12th. Um, so my rest day would probably be tomorrow. And, you know, on the 12th, we, we have to quarantine. So counting that day as well. But um, again, you know, I don't take it for granted my position. I'm very thankful for just everything that's coming my way right now and being part of that team and being able to represent USA. And how are you feeling physically? Because I know you've carried such a big load in this first half of the season. Um, you know, I'm feeling. <laughs> but I know it's my job. You know, I trust Coach T. You know, he's always checking in with me. Um, the training staff that we have here is great with Miss Shalisa and Terrace. So, um, you know, I, I, I know the way that my body works. Um, I know the things that I have to do extra outside of practice for me to be able to compete in these games. So, um, you know, I don't look at my age. I don't look at how many years I've been playing. I, I, I feel good. And then just last question for me real quick. You know, you mentioned a couple of teammates tonight making an impact and just curious, um, you know, how it's been since Shatori came on board and, and what you saw from her tonight. Well, there's a sense of familiarity here with, with, with her, you know, like she was a part of that 2019 team. So for her, she just fits right in, you know, she's not, she just have to get to know players. She knows the players, the coaching staff trust and believe in her. Um, and she's a scorer, you know, I was kind of heartbroken when the trade happened and I knew she was involved in it because, I, you know, I was saying like, oh, I really like her game. You know, she brings great energy. She's always competing and looks like she's always having fun and just a great teammate, but I'm glad you know, it came full circle and she's back around here for us. So, so I'm thankful to have her here. Thanks, Tina, and good luck in Tokyo. Thank you. Christy. Hey, Tina, congrats on a, a gritty win tonight. Fantastic game. Uh, I know that um, there was an overlap back in the day with you and Candace Parker at UConn in Tennessee. That was quite a battle between the two of you tonight. And I know it was Mystic Sky, but how much personal pride do you take in playing a player like a Candace Parker, especially with levels to it? Yeah, you know, I, I respect her game. You know, she's someone that has transcended our game. You know, when you look at the Stewie and the Duana Bonner and the Elena Deladons and those players who are 
playing outside of their position is it, it you know it's 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 with her with what she was able to do um and she's someone that I'm always chasing she's someone where I always gauge my game and compare my game and seeing where she is so I'm always very competitive especially playing against her especially playing against the likes of a Sylvia Faust just because of how hard they've always pushed me along the way and when I was in college and seeing where they were and me just always wanting to to be there trying to be the best in my position and so it's always competitive. <laughs> There's always trash talking, but at the end of the day, I think it's just all respect. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you so much and good luck in Tokyo. Thank you. Last question to Tyler. Hey Tina, yeah, kind of piggybacking off this question a little bit, but with you and Candace during the game, what's it like being in those little like internal, or not internal, but little battles within the matchups and I know, that, like you said, there's trash talk. There was a point in the game where it was obvious to us that you two were kind of toying with each other a little bit. What's it like with that, just in the heat of a matchup, having those individual battles? Um, I, I don't know. I, I can't say that I'm, you know, specifically trying to go at her. You know, I think it's selfish to the other four players that are on the, on the court. Um, I think we just take pride in making one another better. Um, I think she knows that, that I want to I have her best out there. I'm sure she wants to have my best. Um, but, you know, for her to still be able to do what she's able to do in this part of her career and get everyone involved, you know, it just seems how, it just shows how special of a player that she is. You know, the Candace Parker that I knew coming out, you know, it's not as aggressive, it's not the same, but it's a different type of basketball that you still have to respect. Um, and that's something that I admire about her game. Um, she's still transitioning and, and playing her game and not looking at how long she's been in the game or anything, but it's always competitive with her. So I'm, I'm very thankful to be a part of these duels, I guess. Do you see any reflection on yourself and transitioning your game and the longevity of your career at this point? No, nah, I'm still always going to be Tina Charles. You know, I'm still going to do my thing. You know, I'm not really <laughs> trying to make my game like hers. You know, I want to be as dominant as possible. You know, I can't wait for these guys to get back. So I'm not taking 20 plus shots. I can tell you that. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm just glad we got the win. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Tina. All right. Thank you, Tina. Okay. Kareem. Hey, hey, Ariel. Congratulations. Hey, Kareem. Thank you. How you feeling? How's your head doing? That was a nasty uh, collision yeah. there. Uh, I'm fine. I'll be fine. I just need some rest. <laughs> you need a rest before that, right? <laughs> yeah. So, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, just, just wanted to ask, you know, what does this game mean just to go into the break on a high note? It means a lot. Um, we needed it. We really needed it. Um, just as far as like shifting the energy um, and what we've been doing, we've been practicing really good. We had a really good week of practice um, just to, to see kind of the end result of that. It feels really good to get a win after fixing some things in practice. Um, I wanted to ask about the defense. You know, you guys picked it up in that fourth quarter. You guys had some lulls throughout the night, but um, you know, when you guys needed it, you you were able to kind of get stops in the in in the most crucial situations. Yeah. Uh, can you just take us through overtime a little bit and, and your thoughts on how you guys played defensively? Yeah, man. I mean, we made it that far. Uh, we couldn't stop then. I think the biggest thing for us was making sure that we were communicating and not coming out of regulation in a lull. Um, I think coming out, trying to be aggressive from the jump um, on both ends of the floor. And just one last thing. Well, what, what was the conversation as the group right before you guys went out to for overtime? Be aggressive on both ends of the floor. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. Perfect. Yeah. Appreciate you. Enjoy the break. Thank you. Or not your break, but, you know. You know, yeah. <laughs> Christy. Hey, Ariel. Fantastic win. Love the grit from the team on both sides and kind of going to add to what Kareem was saying, but what was the conversation before you all went into the locker room? Coach Tebow shared what he told you all and his last uh, parting words there with the team. But when you guys were celebrating on the court, what, what were those words like amongst the team? Uh, I mean, for one, it feels good to win. Um, we haven't won in a little while, um, especially when you're used to focusing on things that you're trying to get done in practice. And most of the time they're resulting in a win. Um, but we've just been really having to trust the process here with all the adversity has been really just randomly coming our way. Um, but it's part of the game. 
and it is what it is. So um, at the end, you just saw us just being happy for each other, man. Like it was just like a breath of fresh air because we, we've been feeling the energy shift. So it felt good to actually get a result out of it. Speaking of energy shifting, obviously with USA Basketball, the next step for you this week, what is that feeling like for you? Or have you been able to kind of compartmentalize into that moment yet? Yeah, no, um, I've really been trying to focus on what we have going on here just because we've had players in, we've had players out. Um, and I think my team deserves my attention when I'm here with them. Um, but definitely going to go to sleep tonight, go to sleep tomorrow, um, and then shift my mindset and my energy um, to be a part of the Olympic team and do the best I can to soak up everything I can while I'm there learning from those vets um, and do everything I can to help us win a gold medal. I love it so much. Congrats, good luck, and continued blessings. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Jen? Hey, Ariel, congrats on the win. Thank you. I, I know you guys have changed a lot as a team since that first game of the season against the Sky, but curious, you know, what kinds of, you know, what did they do differently compared to that first game that you noticed? Or what was different um, that's changed about them since that first meeting? What's changed about them? Yes. Um, I still think they're a good basketball team. Um, I will more so what changed about us. Um, I think our ability to not allow things to really disrupt our mindset and our mentality. Um, we've been in close games before and we haven't finished them out. Um, but that just says a lot about our growth um, and our growth in our chemistry and our camaraderie. I think we trust each other a little more now. Um, and so I'm really excited about that going into the break because we can come back and understand what that trust felt like. And then when we get our, a few of our pieces back, it'll, it'll just keep adding, you know, fuel to the fire and giving us more good energy. And then with that Tina put back at the end of the game, you know. Uh, assist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your assist. Um, you know, what, what did you see on the court? What was going through your head on that last play there? Yeah, um, I was open, and I was honestly like, all we need is a two to, like, play. But I was open at the three, so I was like, I'm taking it. Um, shot it, and it came right off the backboard just enough for Tina to get it. Um, but she had to go get that rebound. It was two players on her, and I think she honestly got fouled on it. Uh, but, you know, you can't call that in the game as a ref. Um, that would have been a tough call to make. So I'm um, really thankful for her. I mean, she played 42 minutes, 34 and 17. Like, what? That's crazy. Um, but, yeah, shouts to her for getting that assist. I hope that goes on my assist thing there. <laughs> And, you, you know, we've seen ridiculous numbers from Tina all season. So yeah. she, she's just been crushing it. But where have you seen her, you know, get better, if that's possible, over the course of the season? Um, just learning about her teammates and what we need from her, uh, but also her allowing, uh, like, trusting us. Um, I think that it takes time with anybody coming into a new team and a new organization. You know, Coach Tebow but she hadn't played with any of, us, any of us before, if I'm not mistaken. So we've just had to find a way to really build that trust. Um, and that's really what a lot of basketball is about, just building trust with your teammates on the floor, knowing that they have your back. Um, she had my back on that putback. And there are times on the court where I have to have her back if there's a switch or something like that. So I think the biggest thing with her is I can feel it more of her trust in us. And trust also comes with work. Um, and being able to put action behind the words that you're saying. So I think as a collective whole, that's what we've gotten better at. That's what we're still getting better at is trusting each other, putting action behind our words. Thanks, Ariel, and good luck to both of you in Tokyo. Thank you. Thank you. Sweet. Hey, kids. Bye. <laughs> Jen? Hey, Shatori, how's it going? It's going good. It's going good. How does it feel, you know, uh, just a little while ago you were signing with the team on your first seven day and now you're getting a start. What's it been like and how did it feel out there? It felt great. You know, um, I was one of my like points to myself while I was um, not on the team was just staying ready, you know, just getting those reps in just because you never know when that call is going to happen. Um, and because they were in season, like, you don't have time to be getting ready. So I just like telling myself, stay ready, stay ready. You don't know 
who's going to call you don't know what your role is going to be so you know I was I was preparing myself as if um I was on a team I was going I was in the gym every day I was lifting I was just making sure I was going to stay ready just in case that call does come and it, and it eventually did and Tina mentioned that it was kind of a full circle moment uh, getting to play with you now after you guys were swapped in the same deal that brought her here. Um, have you guys talked about that at all or has that run through your head? We actually haven't. Um, we actually haven't. That's actually funny that she said that. I didn't even, I never even really thought about it. I mean, I'm just blessed to share the court with a Hall of Famer. Um, I'm blessed. I'm, I'm super happy to be back on the court with uh, Tosh and Ariel as well. Like, you know, DC drafted me. So this feels like home. I went, I got, uh, I went to college right up the street. So, I mean, it just feels like home. I'm happy and super blessed to be here. What was running through your head when Tina hit that uh, put back at the end of regulation? Honestly, Ariel's shot looked so good that I didn't even rebound. So when Tina got the rebound and put it back in, like it was, it was just, a, I was a ball of emotions. Um, I'm just so proud of this team. Like that was a hard fight when Chicago is a great team. Like they're really good. And I mean, we're down numbers. I know I was just joking with Tosh. Like I know her ankle is going to be on fire, but she, you know, she dug deep and she didn't complain once in the game because she could have took herself out and she didn't. Super proud of her. Super proud of how this team fought. And last question for me real quick. I know, you know, the last time you were here in 2019, Elena winning MVP, having her 50, 40, 90 year. And now you've got Tina doing ridiculous things. And I'm not going to ask you to compare them because that's not really fair. But just, you know, like, what have you seen from Tina? And what's it like, you know, playing alongside a star who's having, like, even by her standards, uh, ridiculous? <clears throat> yeah, and, like, the most most surprising for me, not surprising, but, like, um, like just, I don't know how to describe it, but just the way that she takes care of her body. Um, just like she's a, she's, she leads by example and just making sure like, even if she may not be able to practice a day or two, like she just makes sure she makes sure that she's always ready for the game. Um, and I'm just glad that I can see that firsthand. Like she gets her shots up, she gets her treatment done no matter what. And so just not only is she a professional on the court, but she's a professional off the court. Um, and you can see why she's so successful on the court. And like I said, I'm just so blessed to be able to be on her team, sharing the court with her, picking her brain up, picking her brain and just learning from her. I lied. One more really quick one. Uh, what are your plans for the break? Um, I'm just going to relax, honestly. Um, I didn't plan anything because like we, like we know, like I wasn't, I didn't know, I didn't want to be like <laughs> on a beach and then get that call. And I'm just like, dang, I'm like on the beach right now. <laughs> so, so I just kind of like stay ready. <laughs> I didn't plan anything. Um, so I just, I'll just relax and just chill with some family. And I might go back to DC a little bit early um, just to get in the gym and um, stay sharp. Sounds good. Thanks so much and have a good problem. Um, thank you. Tyler. Hey, Tori, congrats hey, on your win. Thank you. Uh, you, it's expected that you and Tosh would have some chemistry and you and Ariel would have some chemistry, but tonight you and Tina were really playing well off of each other on some certain occasions. Where has that chemistry kind of come from between you two in such a short time? Um, I just figure like every time I give Tina the ball, she scores. So, like keep giving Tina the ball. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of how I fig figured it out. Like every time she gets the ball, she scores. So I'm just going to keep, and I'm, I'm here if you need me. If you kick it back out, I'm going to go right back in because every time you get it, you score. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's super simple and it worked. It works all the time. Um, so yeah. <laughs> well, there's that. And then also there were times you made some, uh, there was at least one backdoor cut, I remember. And then mm -hmm. I think it was almost you fed it to her and then she kicked it right back out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just yeah, just you know, just being able to play. Um, we kind of like not script those things in practice, but coach is really big on you know just playing. Like you don't want to have to call a play every single time. Like I just feel like we're super talented enough, and we have all these scores um, to just play. We don't have to call a play. Um, and I think that's what we do. We just kind of feed off of each other. And like I said, Tosh is really helpful to me, and so is Ariel. They're always talking to me, even on offense. Um, and so I think I give a lot of my credit to them, um, you know, just always um, talking to me, walking me through things, especially at practice as well, what they see. And then you've been with this team for a little bit of time now. Going into the break, how would you judge your reacclimation into the team, into the system, to where you want to be? 
Yeah, I kind of feel like I just like took a mini vacation. That's what it feels like. Like it feels like I never really left. Um, I mean, that's when I came in, the team embraced me. Um, it was kind of weird because like I didn't forget like any place. Like it feels like it really felt like I was just like a on a little vacation. Um, and like I said, I'm super blessed for this opportunity. Like I just I'm super thankful that the organization and Coach T believed in me and gave me that call. Um, no matter what the contract says, I'm just going to try to take full advantage of the opportunity. Thank you, Shatari. Have a good break. Appreciate it. And last question to Christy. Hey, Shatori. Hey, Christy. <laughs> what a fantastic win, number one. But the, the defensive energy tonight, it just seemed to be just uber connected. What was the, the special aspect on the defensive side that, that got you guys this win? The talking, it was like, and it wasn't perfect. It was our effort and our talking. Um, like, I mean, like I said, that's a great team. Vandersloot is so, she's not easy to guard. I mean, you mess up one time, she's making you pay. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're just, they're really good. And like, if we had a mess up, someone was communicating, like, this is what happened. We need to, and then we fixed it. Like, there was no arguing. There was no, we just, we just locked back in. We would call a timeout. We would lock into our defense. We, even if coach changed a, a coverage on the fly, we, we adapted. Um, so even like, like I said, even if it wasn't perfect, um, it was our effort and our talks. Like uh, Plaisance was great down the stretch. Her hands, deflections, being in the right spot. Like, I mean, that really was crucial down the stretch for us, for sure. And the last thing for me with, uh, with the break, obviously, and you said you're going to spend some time with your family and then get back into D.C., how will that carry over to the second half of the season? That kind of that kind of defensive energy like you were just talking about? Um, just bringing in that effort. And um, hopefully, like, after the break, we'll have some bodies and we'll take full advantage of this Olympic break to build on the things that we've been working on. Um, and, like, I'm super excited um, to, to get in. Hopefully, like, some of the people that have been out will, will be there a little bit early with me so I can get some um, reps in with them as well. But, like, this was a great win going into the break to have a great feeling um, for the games coming out on the other side of the break. Thanks so much and enjoy the break. Yes.